Hello, I'm Dr. Alexander Leonard, and I'm an assistant professor in rheumatology at the University of Kentucky. I'd like to provide you with an overview of our prospective article, which discusses current and emerging therapies in ANCA-associated vasculitis, with a focus on the potential role of novel anti-bath therapies, including belimumab. Within the field of rheumatology and autoimmune diseases, I have a particular interest in the treatment of systemic vasculitis. During my training at the Cleveland Clinic, which is one of the largest vasculitis centers in the U.S., I was fortunate to provide care to patients with these rare and life-threatening diseases. Systemic vasculitis involves inflammation of blood vessels, which leads to end organ damage. The vasculitides are commonly divided into three groups depending on the predominant vessel type involved, large, medium, and small. In the article, we focus on the group of small vessel vasculitis, which includes, amongst others, GPA, formerly known as Wagner's granulomatosis, MPA, EGPA, and renal-limited vasculitis. They are characterized by necrotizing small vessel vasculitis affecting multiple organs, most commonly lungs and kidneys, and are frequently associated with positive ANCA directed at PR3 or MPO antigens. For more than four decades, cyclophosphamide-based therapies have remained the hallmark of induction therapy. Recently, B-cell depleting therapy with rituximab, an anti-CD20 antibody, has been approved by the FDA for treatment of active ANCA-associated vasculitis. The RAVE study and other randomized clinical trials have provided clear evidence that rituximab is not inferior to cyclophosphamide for remission induction, and appear to be especially beneficial in patients with relapsing disease. The success of anti-CD20 therapy has raised hope that other B-cell targeted therapies directed either against CD19, CD22, or B-cell survival factors such as BATH in April could also be beneficial for management of ANCA-associated vasculitis. In our article, we provide an overview of the current state of therapy in ANCA-associated vasculitis, followed by a discussion on the role of BATH in normal B-cell maturation, its pathogenic role in autoimmune diseases, and why BAF is thought to be a suitable target for therapy in ANCA-associated vasculitis. Subsequently, we discussed the role of BAF as a potential biomarker and the implications of its changing levels with B-cell depletion therapy. In conclusion, we draw from the experience of currently available anti-BAF therapy with belimumab in systemic lupus, and we summarize current and future clinical trials of anti-BAF agents in ANCA-associated vasculitis. We hope that our prospective article provides readers with insight into current therapies in ANCA-associated vasculitis, as well as an overview of the role of B-cell survival factors, such as BATH, in immunity and its pathogenic role in ANCA-associated vasculitis. We're eagerly awaiting the results of clinical trials of anti-BATH agents with the hope of improving outcomes for these rare yet life-threatening diseases.